Greetings, greetings. We're going to roll today here. This is Body Culinary, and I'm just coming um, to you with just a quick share of um, just some wonderful reasons to semi free form if you have very fine, thin, delicate, afro textured hair. So um, I have um, hair that's like a, a brown um, color and it's very, very delicate. And if you would look close, you would see that my locks are not round as they're um, free forming. Now you can start to see that they've joined, they're coming in very um, flat. So I'm going to share with you some of the reasons, um, some wonderful reasons to semi free form and why it's a really wonderful um, way to um, celebrate uh, and style this kind of hair. Now, um, before we go any further, these um, curls that I just got were from using um, pipe cleaners, right? And the pipe cleaners are great because um, I'm the type of person I want to be um, very functional and I'm not about to go outside with rollers in my hair. So um, where um, I washed um, my hair um, yesterday and did a, a hot oil treatment with something very, very thin. For a long time, I hadn't used no, no oil and I don't like a lot of oil. I don't like weight in my hair. My hair is super, super light, which is um, definitely um, really helpful when you have fine hair because I'm very concerned about nothing on um, pulling or damaging um, my hairline. Otherwise, my hairline will be receding quite easily, so we don't want that. And then also, as the hair grows out, I don't want the weight of the hair to um, to pull. Um, being that my hair is not dense, uh, when it's um, straight, it looks very flat. So this is definitely a style um, that complements fine Afro textured hair. So uh, one of the a really, really wonderful reason to um, semi freeform, just looking in the mirror right here, is because it's complementary to hair that doesn't look um, very full. So you can celebrate your afro. Now, when I was um, a loose natural, um, when I had found styles that complemented my hair, first, many, many years ago, it was a low peach fuzz. Then I grew it out into um, to a length where I could do uh, double strand twists, and I really like being um, self-sufficient, being able to handle my hair myself rather than going spending hours in a salon. Um, that's not for me. Um, so this is something that's manageable. And um, before I locked, I found so many styles. I was very, very creative with doing all different types of big um, buns and twists. So I would take and do double strand twist buns um, with very loose banana combs and combs that did not pull up my hair. I'm extremely tender headed, so any kind of pulling, it hurts a lot. And that's also a signal that you are damaging your follicles. In addition to giving you those hair bumps, I call when you have hairstyles um, that are too tight. You know, and sometimes we just rough through it or I remember back and they put head wraps on so tight that look cute, but I had a headache by the end of the day or, or at some point I just had to take it off. So this is um, a very pain free way to wear your hair. Right. And I have the type of hair when it's very dry. It can look like um, it can look like straw. So um, styles that are voluminous. Um, even when it's straight, when it can um, kind of puff out, it's um, complementary. But hair that would otherwise, if I tried to force it into um, other kinds of styles, you would see a lot of um, a lot of scalp. So even when I used to try back in the day, do a little um, just single braids, then my hair just looked um, you know it was very compact. Whereas the double strand twist could swell out. So now um, with locks, and now that I have a, a little length. When we have the curls, it instead of going down this way, it looks more full. So I think it's very complementary to this um, kind of hair. Um, number two, um, another reason is that it is um, it's versatile. Now I like to be able to move. I have to be functional. So if this gets wet or in the rain, you know I could care less. And I'm very big on not having a bunch of grease in my face. I don't like a lot of oil because I used to have a lot of um, acne. So this is um, super duper functional here. Number three, it is so um, inexpensive. You know, if I didn't have pipe cleaners, I don't like um, compiling or, or getting a whole bunch of junk and starting to, to get a whole bunch of junk. You're piling on like endless hair tools and all this other stuff. Um, I won't call myself a minimalist, but I just don't like to have so much stuff. It may be in a sense, just keeping things minimal and very easy. So a pipe cleaner is um, inexpensive. I can wear it um, outside as long as you take the ends 
and you bend them over so that they don't pull in the hair, that's really important if you have very delicate hair. I know for me, I can even feel kind of claustrophobic when things get caught in my hair. Everything gets caught in my hair and any kind of pulling would just rip my hair off at a, um, a drop of a dime. So um, another reason that it's very um, delicate, it's very, very delicate on the hair and my hair is super, super light. It was even lighter than this when I didn't use any oil. So I don't have a bunch of oil in it, but I did give it a hot oil treatment because my hair was giving itself shedding, giving itself a, a haircut for me, um, over washing it because of being out in the garden so much and attempting to wash all the dust in, out of my hair. So I have finally submitted to covering my hair when I'm out in the garden, even though it's super hot here. I'm the type of person that doesn't like hats, sunglasses, scarves. I feel like I'm suffocating. So I had to submit to putting a cover over my head when I'm in um, the garden. So the, uh, the other thing is you don't have to pay to spend hours in the, the salon. Um, while you're listening to some music or an audio book, you can just take and um, wrap the pipe cleaners, you know, around your hair and you're done. And the other thing this can turn into, it's so versatile. It's several, um, styles, right? So I, when these are, are in, I had them in, um, earlier, um, today, it looks like a, a really cute little bob. And if you're really hot, I don't like the feeling of hair on my neck. Um, when you roll them on a pipe cleaner, you can bend it in all different kinds of shape, shapes. So you can have a quote unquote protective style. If you're one of those people that needs to keep your hands out of your hair, you can have a little bob. If you want, you can leave that in for days or you know a week or even longer. And then when you take it out, you have a whole other um, hairstyle. So um, as someone that doesn't like to, I like to be able to creative to be creative with my hair, but I also don't want to be a slave. Um, to my hair. With, I have to spend a whole bunch of money on products, not me, or I have to spend hours on my hair. It's just, it's not for me. It feels like, you know, same thing for me. Not that I don't admire some people that wear fresh face looking makeup, but I want to be able to be comfortable in my own hair and, and skin. So um, the other thing uh, is I feel like it's super, um, it's very, very to me is very feminine. So I like being able to wear curls. And I wish I had known about this as a child. This would have been so great. You know, um, many of us grew up thinking that we have to mimic other um, women of the world, their hair. And um, our hair is very um, unique. It can grow nice and long um, if we just figure out how to handle it. And I remember just all the years of, 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 of suffering with the hot combs and um, scabs on my scalp from um, the permanent relaxes, not to think of the damage of that stuff going towards your brain. If anyone ever reads the um, the fine print on the chemical relaxers, um, it's not supposed to be put in your scalp if you're pregnant. It can damage and affect the fetus. So what is it, if it can affect the fetus, what does that say for us? Hey, greetings on into. So um, this, this is just so wonderful. I wish I had known about living foods as a child and I had known about just my own natural hair. But fortunately, now all this information, we can use the technology for something positive to share information. I think that's a wonderful use of the internet and I'm a lifelong learner. Been 30 years on my return to, to natural and I'm still learning, right, all over again. So these I didn't curl as tight. And then um, if you're um, very tender headed um, and this is like growing in flat with these um, combined, when I roll it, I do not roll things all the way to the scalp because that's gonna be pain. So another reason that brings us to, if you are tender headed, if you're tender headed, plus you have delicate hair that breaks, this is such an ideal style because um, you just don't have to have your hands in your hair and you can um, enjoy the styles. And um, all the pulling and the tension um, can really cause a lot of breakage. So these are my light um, rollers that can pack up <laughs> and go nice and easily. And for those folks that, you know, you see other women of the world wearing highlights and sun streaks and putting all this other stuff, all I did, you know, to play around and be creative is take another color um, pipe cleaner and put that in sections if you want to play with quote unquote highlights. And then also the sun, being out in the sun when I'm in the garden, that will also um, color my hair. So I don't intend on putting any dyes or any colors in my hair. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. The amount, I don't want anything to do with heat or any kinds of chemicals. It will color itself. Some people have even asked me if I've colored my hair. And the only thing um, that changed the color of my hair is the sun. So it's just, you know, and my final reason for um, semi-free forming your, your hair, which is really sometimes if we get out of the way, the body and the hair knows what to do 
on its own. It's like Eureka. If it keeps trying to clump into lock, all I have to do is gently separate it. I don't even have to twist it. Oh my gosh, that is such a relief. I don't have to twist it or worry about twisting it and then it frizzes out at the end at the um at the root. I can celebrate every aspect of my unique presence. If it frizzes, like I can celebrate it with this style. And I think it's huge, you know, in terms of we have a culture and I, you know, way when I was a young girl, I used to do the baby hair with the toothbrush. Um, and you kind of get addicted to these things. Like, you know, some of us can't, can't really sit with ourselves without makeup, without earrings, without slate ed edges. We feel like, you know, um, anxiety ridden, right? But with this style, you can celebrate your, um, your hair. Um, as much as I absolutely adored cornrows, Every single time I would put cornrows in my hair and my, and I paid good money for really wonderful braiders that didn't even braid tight. Um, but every time I would get cornrows in my hair and my scalp was exposed, it would itch profusely. It would itch like um, crazy. And I would spend all this money to get my hair done and I would always have to take it out. So yeah, that was no bueno. I tried everything um, for cornrows. And then, you know, you can do, you can do this yourself and you can be um, creative with this. It's perfect here. Bonus. It's perfect for yoga. It's perfect for movement. It's perfect for working out. This is the ultimate hair for working out. So our hair quite often for uh, many chocolate women is, um, it has become an excuse for us not to exercise. So this is, you know, what we naturally comes out of our hair is designed, you know, um, for movement. Um, it's also super, super light and, um, it's light and fluffy. I don't know what the back looks like. I don't have to worry about if it's even, uneven, you know, um, any of that stuff. So whatever it is, how whatever the density is, I can celebrate what is mine. It is such a relief to know it's mine. I don't have to do anything to it. I don't, I don't, you know, I can just use some cold press oil or some jojoba oil, you know, and very, very little of it with some fresh pressed juice out of my juicer. <laughs> And that's what I'm putting in my hair. I don't even have to buy the rose water. Um, I think in the earlier video I did, because today I'm on a roll, um, I made a, a cucumber spritz. I have two different um, varieties because I like to be able to, to take, as I said, the ways of the grandmothers. I'm invoking the ways of the grandmothers, taking one ingredient and being able to do 10 different things with it. I can eat it. I can make noodles out of it. I can make a, a juice out of it. I can make a soup out of it. Um, I can make a toner out of it. You know, I can make a hair rinse out of it. I like to be able to take one fresh ingredient and do several things with it. And if I have anything left, I can compost it, you know, or use it for a facial scrub. So, you know, I think that's um, a lot of fun. So there's so many reasons to semi free form. I feel, um, very content. I feel like it's very beautiful, which I think is very important. I think it's a healthy sense, a healthy sense of, of self to, to feel like you're attractive. And I'm always the person that likes to, um, to play in my hair. I think that's something that women, you know, it's something natural and feminine that women like. I like flowers. I like scents, you know, um, you know, it, fashion is a type of expression, but the ultimate Beauty product is health, and that also includes the health of your hair. But we do not have to torture ourselves trying to look like something that it just is not. You know, inherently, I think it can really um, contribute. At least it's been my experience to low esteem when you're chasing something that is not you. You know, this is you. You can be comfortable in your own skin, with your own eyelashes, with your own fingernails. Say you truck loads of money, you can put that towards um, land and travel and other endeavors, if you so choose. You know, we have many, many options. So this was just, again, the, um, the, um, the pipe cleaners. <laughs> and I'm happy with my hair. You know, we used to go way back in the day. I remember, oof, I know, way back in the day getting a jerry curl. Oof. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I had a jerk, I had a greasy, I had the soul glow, you know, complete with the lay your head back and you have all the jerry curl juice, the carefree curl, and what was the other thing, S curl activator on your sheets and the plastic shower caps, and ooh, it was a mess, my, my haul of my jacket used to look greasy, it used to look greasy, and I used to pay all the money for this curl activator, sometimes it would be running down in your, in your face, curl activator, wow, and when I sit back and I really think about it, I was like, well, we've really been sold a doohickey. <laughs> So now hopefully this generation that's coming up underneath us has so many options to not um, just settle for looking like somebody else. I mean, I would have just loved to have my own curls and they don't look like um, anybody else's. 
I absolutely love my hair. I love that as a short peach fuzz. I love the double strand um, twists. Um, I used to, I tried twisting it a couple of times before, but eventually, you know, it's been a matter of just submitting. And so I submit to this. So now I'm not twisting because my hair doesn't like to be twisted and all um, scalpy. And now, um, now I can really see where it's banded um, together. So I'm letting it do its own thing. I just gently um, separate it. My scalp feels clean. It's not, uh -oh, it's not greasy or anything. And it's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's my final Afro texture here. So I think this is a wonderful option for um, folks um, and women that have very thin, sparse hair because the pulling and the tension, I would have to say, is one of the main um, culprits that is breaking off our hair and literally destroying the follicles and the hairline. And it makes us, I think, anxious and crazy. <laughs> Chasing after somebody, something or look or, or this perceived look of what we're supposed to look like because you know, we just don't feel confident. This is like, you can relax. I absolutely, I, I love it. You know, I adore my hair amongst other things and my skin and my nose and my fingers and my um, my feet and my toes. And you know, it's, it's, it's all love. It's a wonderful freeing feeling. So I invite you, <laughs> if you have fine hair or finest hair that's very, very sparse, if you don't twist it, it will swell up to a cottony natural self. And if you, you know, you don't have to struggle to try to get hair to cover certain areas because it will swell on its own. And definitely when you don't pull on it, and even when you give it a break from so much trying to slick down edges, the hair can grow and flourish literally when we leave it alone. Maybe put on a cute little, um, you know, lock sock or something like that um, just to cover it at night. At one point, I didn't want to use that. Um, but I think definitely from over washing can definitely make the hair very um, dry and brittle, even if they're natural shampoos. But if, again, just like if you don't put junk food in the body, you don't have to work like a demon to get it off. If you don't put a whole bunch of products in your hair, um, you don't have to work like a, a demon to get all this buildup out, you know? So celebrate your crown, whatever you got, work what you got, celebrate and love it. So this is Body Culinary. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with somebody that you know they could use some um, motivation that may be complaining um, about their hair. Um, from time to time, I hear people say, I hate my hair, I hate my hair, which is really such a strong um, um, statement. So I look for every excuse and every reason to celebrate what it is that I got. Whatever your color of your skin, Love the skin that you're in because it's the only skin that, that you got and we don't want to damage it or mutilate it so they can look like something, a picture in our mind because this is what we've got. And some folks talk about the afterlife. This is the only one I know that I have right here. And then even if we had to lay this body down and get another one, it's still we still got to work with what we've got, right? So all I have to say, um, celebrate yourself. Um, subscribe to the channel so um, you can hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of whenever I upload a new video. Women out there, you can wear this um, corporate, you can pull it into an easy style if you want to work out. Your own natural hair is so ideal. And I really live for the day to see a whole nother crop of econ uh, economics sprout up so that um, Black women and our children and our communities can flourish and thrive off of this unique texture, right? Instead of all those economics leaching out. Okay, I will see you in the next video.